Welcome back. You're with Biz Lounge, and we're in conversation with Dave McClure, the head of 500 Startups. And here's a look at why the company is not just about work, but also fun. My personal leadership style uh, probably isn't a leadership style at all. Uh, it's more of a team orientation. Dave's leadership style is unconventional. He's wacky, he's zany, but I think it's very inspiring for the team. He leads without ego. Dave is definitely an interesting personality. Um, some of the most important things really, because I work with so many startups and so many accelerators and incubators, is Dave's approach or his thesis to investing in startups. He helps his startups really push the boundaries on what's important. Dave clearly you know, knows what he wants and he goes after it very strongly. Um, I think he seems to lead by example. We like to have a lot of fun at 500 Startups. In fact, we, we our motto is really to have fun first. Uh, that keeps the team motivated and engaged. Dave's biggest pet peeve is when there's no Wi-Fi. I have learned that very well. There needs to be Wi-Fi everywhere. And since we travel around the world, getting Wi-Fi on a bus on the way to the Taj Mahal, we did it. <laughs> That's his absolute biggest pet peeve. During a Geeks on a Plane tour to Asia, we were meeting Hillary Clinton and Dave actually showed up in flip-flops. It's his style. He doesn't compromise it for anyone. If you weren't running 500 startups, what would be your <laughs> alternate career choice? If I weren't running 500, um, I don't know. I guess uh, previously I'd been a programmer and an entrepreneur. Those were both pretty... Uh, interesting careers. Mm -hmm. um, probably uh, what I'd love to do more is write or maybe um, do some filmmaking. Those would be fun. Mm -hmm. I, I like to tell stories, so mm -hmm. maybe I could try and make a Bollywood film sometime. <laughs> and you have a small team, about 22 employees. What's the criteria to be part of your team? Uh, I think to be part of 500 startups, you have to be certifiably insane. That's uh, <laughs> part of it. Um, I think we're looking for folks who are really passionate about uh, building companies. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually we're looking for people who've come from other um, operating companies in the past. So mm -hmm. although we do investment, most of the people on my team are not uh, financial uh, services folks. They're mostly engineers, designers, marketers, uh, mm -hmm. people who perform those roles at other internet startups. Uh, mm -hmm. Myself at PayPal, my other partner Christine at Google, uh, other folks from Yahoo and other places. Um, and then we're looking for particularly folks who kind of have a bicultural uh, experience, people who have um, you know, familiarity operating both in the Silicon Valley and tech scene, but mm -hmm. also in their own geography or country and language. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really significant part of what we do is try and uh, invest globally, um, although mm -hmm. A lot of our investment happens in the U.S. and probably half of it in the Silicon Valley, San Francisco Bay Area. Um, but we're really trying to expand outside the U.S. and uh, invest in places that we think are going to be large uh, tech centers and large growth areas. Mm -hmm. And then we emphasize uh, having fun and being silly a lot. We mm -hmm. really think that's an important cultural <laughs> value for us. Uh, mm -hmm. We want to make sure that people are having fun in what they're doing. Otherwise, they won't. Uh, they won't be doing it quite so hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so we uh, we do a lot of silly and crazy stuff. We make uh, crazy videos sometimes, <laughs> and um, it's a very tight knit team, very very family oriented. Mm -hmm. And what advice would you give to somebody who's getting into a leadership position for the first time? Well, I don't know that I'm an expert about leadership. It's taken me maybe 20 years to figure out what I'm good at. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this might come as not the traditional uh, advice, but I would say probably don't be an ass. I think uh, <laughs> that's really an important thing, uh, at least in Silicon Valley culture, is to mm -hmm. really, you know, treat other people as you would like to be treated. Yeah. And I think because a lot of the folks that we want to hire are very talented, they can, you know, work many, many other places. Mm -hmm. So I think we work more from a culture of attraction uh, and carrots than sticks. Mm -hmm. um, 
And we like to, you know, give people the opportunity to stretch themselves and maybe fail occasionally. So um, a lot of our investment philosophy around making lots of little bets, we apply that to the people in our organization too. And mm -hmm. we, we give them responsibility early. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of folks who we hire start investing uh, pretty much right away, uh, but on a small budget. Mm -hmm. And then um, we encourage them to take a lot of risk. That may require us to operate with a little less centralized control than most other uh, companies or mm -hmm. even venture capital firms. Um, but I think that's a great way to encourage uh, an organization that does uh, do innovative and uh, innovative things and take risks. Who've been some of the most influential leaders in your life? Well, uh, strangely, I think my mom is probably the most influential uh, leader <laughs> in my life. Uh, she was uh, an entrepreneur herself, and mm. uh, at least for a good bit of time, she was probably the single parent in my life, although mm. I spent time with my dad and stepfather also. Mm -hmm. um, so really a lot of um, behaviors I probably take from her, a lot of things that I think she was great about, you know, taking risk and, you know, being responsible for me and uh, mm -hmm. herself. What are you doing to ensure that you continue to grow and develop as a leader? Well, I think uh, just looking back every week or every month, I realize all the dumb stuff that I do and trying to, you know, do less of that, I guess, <laughs> in the future. Um, for me, I think travel has been an opportunity to learn a lot about other cultures, but also learn a lot about myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it keeps me fresh, mm -hmm. um, getting exposed to new societies and new ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Um, we try out a lot of the products that we invest in, mm -hmm. so we're always sort of playing around with new tools and devices. Mm -hmm. um, then I think, um, you know, writing for me has been an interesting way to explore, you know, how, how I operate, how our team operates. Mm -hmm. um, but we're still figuring a lot of stuff out, so yeah. maybe I'm not quite the expert yet. I think uh, getting there. Yeah, not assuming that you actually are there yet is part of the journey. Yeah. Great. Okay, Dave, we have to take another quick break here. Cool. But stay with us. We'll be back with more from Dave McClure.